So I've uh, found some strange things on the trail, but never one shoe hanging from a tree. It looks like it, it looks like it's probably a nice shoe, maybe some sort of trail run shoe. Uh, never heard of the brand. L A Sport. Sportiva, maybe? Yeah, LA Sportiva, something. That's really weird. So, look at the bluffage. All sorts of bluffage. Howdy folks, Sean here from Hiking with Sean on YouTube. Today I am biking at Giant City State Park. Currently going up a hill. going up the big hill by the Giant City Lodge. It's a stomach buster. <laughs> Just got off work a little while ago and it's 80 degrees. So I thought I need to get out and bike. All right, folks. Here I am at Devil's Stand Table here at Giant City. If I didn't mention that, I think I did. And it's a nice area. And trying something new, camera-wise, on my bike rides. It's a little bit more portable to take a GoPro. So that's what I'm using. GoPro 6, Hero 5 6, or not Hero 5. Hero 6, black, whatever it is, on a Karma Grip gimbal. So that's what I'm using. Video should be fairly stable. There's the stand table. And a cool overlook. So, I come to Giant City to bike for many reasons. Uh, it's hilly for, for starts. It's really hilly, so it's a workout. Um, there's a lot of roads out here, and everyone's pretty friendly driving on them. They always give me plenty of room. I've never really had a problem. And there is a lot of stuff to stop and look at like Devil's Back, uh, Devil's Stand Table back there, and this waterfall. And this is just in a creek at a parking lot. In fact, it's parking lot. It is P8, parking lot 8 on Stone, Stone Fort Road in Giant City State Park, Southern Illinois. Um, and... Just look at that, that's just beautiful. You know, the whole creek built by the Civilian Conservation Corp. It's a, a legacy of this park. There's a nature preserve right over here behind the creek. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful area to stop, really. Um, so, you notice at the beginning of this video, I said hiking with Sean. That's because I am discontinuing biking with Sean. It's served its purpose. I was not as active with that as I thought I was gonna be. And to be honest, it's kind of a challenge to run two separate channels at this time. Maybe in the future, I'll have a biking channel. 
But for now, I'm going to bring the biking back to the hiking channel. And I'll just have Hiking with Sean biking editions. Howdy, folks. Sean here from Hiking with Sean on YouTube. And today, if you could see right there, that little blue circle, that's my location. And all that rain is coming. And there's, some, there's even a tornado warning in there. It's pretty far down south, a couple states south. But I came to Giant City today to a bike, and I, that's what I did. I biked seven miles really quickly, hence why I'm dressed in. Well, that's why I'm dressed in biking clothes. <laughs> And I'm here to go waterfall chasing since the storm isn't quite here yet. So I was riding around on my bike and noticed that it just waterfalls all over the place. And I thought, man, I gotta get out and I gotta, I gotta see a couple waterfalls at least. Otherwise I'm gonna regret it. And I really, I don't want to ruin my, uh, you know, my work clothes because I really didn't wear anything that's hiking appropriate to get muddy and stuff. So I thought, well, just wear my bike stuff. <laughs> so if anyone happens to see someone walk around Giant City in spandex, well, that's me. <laughs> so I have been coming out here to Giant City on this particular horse trail for quite a number of years and I've never seen this fall wet. It's always been dry. And now there's a waterfall on it. And I'm finally getting to see it. And that's special to me. That means something to me. So I'm going to go down here and look at it where I cross and hopefully it looks as good as it does right now, which I think it will. So there it is. Cool, huh? Try not to slip and fall. I've never seen this active. First time seeing it active, first time me videotaping it or filming it active. And I'm using a GoPro. So there you go, GoPro. Send me a seven. <laughs> That's slick. That's really slick. That's slicker than snot. I'm going to try to climb up this and get a better, better view without dying. Without breaking an ankle. That's the plan. Ooh. Don't want to break an ankle. There we go. Cool. It's like a fall here, and another fall right over there. And there we have a fall. Shelter cave, and waterfall. Pretty cool. Cool fall. shelter cave and this is right on this trail alrighty folks I have shielded enough of the start of the trail to this kind of hidden cave shelter slash waterfall and now I'm going to show you this area which is the main reason why I came to this trail to see this because it's just cool out here. Big shelter cave, lots of cool banding.
and a waterfall. Of course, a waterfall. More cool banding. And this waterfall is active. I've never seen it like this. I've only seen it at a trickle. Cool. Nice. Very cool. I want to show you something even cooler that I found here the last time I was here. I think it's cool. I'm always looking for natural windows. Sometimes natural windows are in the form of other uh, elements rather than the bluffage. Sometimes it's the treeage. <laughs> and sometimes when you look through it, like that one, you see a waterfall. Isn't that cool? Heck. I can never really get a good picture, but I'm going to try to today. And here's a little fall that's connected to the much bigger fall. I always think that's cool. It's cool to view. And I'll climb down and get the bigger fall. First I'm checking for snakes and then I'm going to take a picture. There's some foliage. And then the big falls over here. Hard to get to. You can hear it, but it's it's rugged and downhill. Or down down a bunch of slip, slippery rocks. So if you ever do come out here, folks, please be careful. Because it's not an area where you want to get hurt and fall and uh, be without help. It's slick. I mean, all this is rock. So, it's slick. But, it's a cool sight. Very cool. It's a great sight to see. There it is. We'll get under right here in a little bit, but there's windows like right over here. It's really cool. But cool falls, red cedar falls. That's what I call it. Joe Lilton may have a different name for it. If I uh, remember, I'll try to put it in description. Along with the, uh, you know, if you want to find out where this is, just shoot me a message. And uh, I'll, I'll give you a general idea where to look. Just be safe and kind of keep it, you know, word of mouth only. So we can protect areas like this. Pretty cool, huh? Worth coming out. Yeah. 